explosive crowd here at New Experience Wrestling. Hello, everybody. I'm T-Bone Terrence Ward, joined alongside downtown Bruno here at the commentator's desk. And Bruno, what an exciting program we've got this week. It just gets better every week. I'm excited. Right, I'm excited party. to be... Break up the party. Five Star has something to say. It's Hold today. on. Hold on. Wait a minute. We're trying to open the show. Can I help you with Bruno, something? Bruno, listen. Keep your mouth shut. I've been to the NEW Board of Directors. I've been to the officials of the NEW. I've been on Twitter, Facebook, MySpace even. Nobody uses MySpace anymore. Your space? I've emailed. I've texted. I've Skyped. I've done everything that there is to do to get NEW's attention on my United States Junior Heavyweight Championship that was stolen from me just a few weeks back. I've done every single thing except for one. Would you mind telling us what that is? Ken Wayne, get out here right now. Well, I don't know what you're rolling up your sleeves for. We're not going to have any violence. We're not gonna I have said any... stay out of my business. Well, it's Ken my... Wayne, the owner of this company, get out here right there he is. Yeah. There he is. Yeah. Ken? Got your back to the camera here, Bruno. Ken. Well, I'm a little nervous about A couple this of weeks ago... You stole the United States Junior Heavyweight Championship from me that I won fair and square right in the ring against Dan Matthews. You've been messing with me ever since I stepped foot in this company. And now you're stealing from me. You're a thief. Well, you know what? Give you me my what? championship back, Ken. You can call me a thief, but let me tell you something, dude. I'm going to have to call you a liar. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You know what? Because I can back up what I say, all right? Okay, if we can, let's roll that beautiful bean footage one more let's time, see it. okay? Footage. Let's footage. roll it. Kill the lights. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh. Trying to get the pin here. Hold on. Wait a minute. Footage. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Have we got a new champion? Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of this matchup and new United States Junior Heavyweight Champion, Dustin. Five star! I cannot believe my eyes. Now wait a minute, there's something is not right here. Did you see what I saw on the screen? The referees did not see it. It is obvious what oh, happened. Oh, now, oh now okay. I can okay. Back up Anybody what I could say. do that. Oh, we can? I've been in movies, I've seen special effects, Photoshop, they can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! I think what that I that wasn't me. It was superimposed, Ken. Look, I won the championship fair and square. Look, I'm like this about it. I'm gonna believe my eyes. <laughs> you know, first of all, I saw it live. I've, we've watched it back. It's in slow motion. So now you're out here complaining and whining about getting caught. You like a little kid. You get caught. That wasn't me, me and you know it. You that wasn't me and you know it. I won my Who championship and I want it right now, Ken. You want a return title match? I want my shot. You I want, want my title today. Okay, I'll tell you what. Since you seem to think we're unfair and we right. photoshopped it. Yeah. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to go right ahead and we're going to give you that return title match. And I hope you got your gear on. You look nice. You look Touch really me. good. So you better have your gear, go lace them up, because before this show's over today, you'll have that return title match. And before the show's over today, you'll have a new United States Junior Heavyweight Champion. We'll see. You know, Dan Matthews has his share of doubters. Week in and week out, almost every time I open my mouth, someone pops in and doubts me. One of them is Austin Lane. The other one is Dustin Starr. Dustin Five Star. And Dustin, you don't know how to be a man. I'm fixing to show you how to be a man because I'm going to beat the doubt out of you. You're going to get a five-star beating. Courtesy of Dangerous Dan Matthews. Ladies and gentlemen, this matchup is scheduled for the United States Junior Heavyweight Championship. To go over the rules, this match is scheduled for a 60-minute time limit. There are two referees introducing the referee inside the ring, Mr. Will Gibson. And your referee on the outside of the ring, Chuck Poe. There are also two rope breaks per contender in this matchup. They must be a full extension of the arm, the leg, or the head to count as an, as a, an official rope break. 
Also, the matchup is subject to video review following the win. Introducing first the challenger from Tampa, Florida, Dustin Five Star. And introducing next, he is the current United States Junior Heavyweight Champion from Gatlinburg, Tennessee, Dangerous Dan Matthews. Well, folks, here we go. This may be the television main event. 60-minute time limit. Dustin Starr, the challenger, taking on the champion, Dan Matthews. Well, I'll tell you what, it's pick him time right now, T-Bone. I'm going to have to give the edge to Dangerous Dan. I've never seen him so fired up. I've never seen him so focused. He's got one thing in mind and one thing only, to keep that United States Junior Heavyweight Championship. And uh, if I was a betting man, if sports betting was legal in the state of Mississippi, which it ain't, I promise you I would go down to Tunica and I would bet on Dangerous Day. I'll tell you what, here we go. The official handshake on a title match. There must be a handshake as part of NEW rules. This matchup now officially underway. And, you know, Dustin Starr is going to have to watch his P's and Q's, if you know what I mean, in this matchup. Well, he hasn't been drinking, has he? Well, that's not officially what I meant by that. I mean, he's just not going to – he can't cheat. He's going to have to fight Oh, fair. okay, because, you know, that means watch your pints and quarts. That came from old England. A little trivia for you. Well, there we go. My history lesson for the day. I read, I read that one time in an airplane magazine. I wonder if that applies to apple juice, too. I don't know. I, I'm drinking cold water right now. I like apple juice, but uh, maybe later. Well, here we go. Dan Matthews countering right into that hammer along. Dustin Starr searching for a – for a way to counter, does so. The drop toe hold. And a nice counter by Dan Matthews. Now, Dustin Starr's got to be careful here. Dan Matthews is an excellent technical wrestler, and he, he's one that you need to really watch out for. Well, obviously, right here I can see that. He's got him down for the cover. Could have been go home time already. You know what? Dan Matthews will hit Dustin Starr with so many combinations before it's over with, he's going to think he's a safe. Yeah, well, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, you know, talking about the U.S. Junior Heavyweight title matchup, if I'm not mistaken, that very title was on the line between Austin Lane and Eric Wayne at Scars and Stripes, which is available on DVD at rronews.com. Match of the year, if I'm not mistaken. For uh, match of the year for 2010, for not only at but com. Kick out at two. By the way, uh, it's one of the uh, – Matches that made history. It's the only match in history that had three different referees: Chuck Poe, myself, Downtown Bruno, and Richard Bresler. Actually, referee actually made the final three count. So, uh, three referees. Match of the year. Scars and stripes. Buy it now, as Brian Thompson would say. Yeah, former NEW announcer Brian Thompson. A very good promo. And Dan Matthews saying, come on, what are you waiting for? Why are you hiding out in the corner? I don't. I think Dustin Starr might be looking at, the, looking at the audience for advice. He's not going to get any from the audience. They don't uh, care for him, obviously. But uh, the feeling is mutual, I think. Well, here we go. Going to go try for a test of strength, but a kick to the thigh. There's a form across the back, forearm to the face. Dustin Starr, don't turn your back on your opponent, rookie mistake. And that's why. Returning forearm by Dan Matthews, picking up the steam. Keep it going. I tell you what, when you drop on the small of your back, it goes all the way to the back of the base of your skull. I promise you he's going to feel that in the morning. I tell you what, you know, we can't talk about it enough. Make sure you check out our Facebook page. We ask you, you know, we've been waiting all week, and now it's finally here, the, the, the match, you know, we've been waiting for. Dustin Starr versus Dan Matthews, U.S. Junior Heavyweight title match. This could be it right here. The Tennis Tennessee Cloverleaf. If he gets it locked in there, this could be it. Get ready to grab that hammer, Terrence. Grab the bell hammer. It's, it's, it's over. I guarantee this is it. Dustin Starr has got to get a full extension of the arm, leg, or head in order for it to count as a rope break. And he's, he's nowhere near the ropes. He's in no man's land. It's going to be an early night tonight. I hope Kid Nichols and John Allen are warming up back there. It's about time for the standby match to hit the ring. Well, I'm telling you what, Dustin Starr in a bad situation. He needs to get to the ropes. He needs to find some upper body strength. You see those pecs, those pectoral muscles, those biceps. He needs to use those to crawl over to the rope and grab a hold and use that full arm to get a rope break, which is what he's doing now. Oh, I can't believe it. I, I tell you what, i got to give him credit where it's due. I sold him short. Some excellent upper body strength, Bruno. Excellent. Absolutely. And he's made it. Full extension. Full extension. That's the first rope break by Dustin Starr. One remaining. 
The third rope break will not count. It absolutely won't. He's doing it for nothing. Both men going for that kick, and it seems Star made contact first. Is he trying to escape? Where's he going? Is he trying to take the expose the turnbuckle? Oh, now wait a minute. Did you just see that? Getting the referees distracted by trying to take off the turnbuckle and gouging Dan Matthews in the eye. I mean, a blatant poke to the eye. Something out of the old Downtown Bruno book from many years ago. You know, I wish, I wish you were an official in this match right now because, I mean, three officials, that would have been fantastic because we could have, you know, he could have been disqualified there. I mean, I agree. I mean, I am still senior official, but I'm not assigned to this particular match, so therefore, myself, uh, Richard Bresler, either one of us, we are officials in NAW, but we're not allowed to interject ourselves into a match that we're not signed for. Oh, now, wait a minute. What the, I don't know if that was a forearm or a closed fist. I could not tell, but it definitely laid out Dan Matthews. I'm, I'm assuming that was a closed well, fist. Well, from my vantage point, I couldn't tell, so I'm not going to try to speculate, but knowing Dustin Starr, it was probably a closed fist. And here we go. Making contact with Dan Matthews. There's a cover. Will it be three and a kick out? Wow. That is unbelievable. I cannot what? believe he was able to kick out of that shades of Randy Macho Man Savage elbow from the top rope. Five minutes have elapsed in this contest. Five minutes are 55 minutes remaining. Now, ladies and gentlemen, do not fear. If we go over the allotted time allowed for this program, we will bring you the conclusion of this match next week. Nice clothesline by Dan Matthews, but the way steam is picking up, we may not have to bring you the conclusion next week. We may not. That is absolutely right. Here we go. Back body drop, as John still used to say, into the lights. Into the lights. Feet almost touched the ceiling. Kick out at two, not quite enough to keep the five-star showcase no. down. As a matter of fact, Terrence, if you want, I'll put your personal phone number on the screen and people can call you <laughs> at home and ask you for the results no. if it doesn't make it. No, they, they can they can log on to Facebook or Twitter and they can get our results there up to the minute information 24 hours a day. Now, my mother used to tell me not to Twitter. It'll make you go blind. <laughs> well, as it may be. Dan Matthews is going for a body slam on Dustin Starr. That kind of got me tickled there, bro. That was quite funny. <laughs> well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. That's what I'm here for, to amuse, to amuse my co-host. <laughs> here we go, cover. Very, very close. Close, but no cigar, as they say. I'm telling you what, definitely some, an action-packed, adrenaline-filled throw ride of a match. It's been, a, this whole show has been action-packed. Roll up pin. Now, wait a minute. And Chuck Poe catching Dustin Starr, pulling the tights. You have been caught, Mr. Starr. And guess what? No count for you. Now, he cannot complain about video uh, reviews. Now, this was live and shown up living color. And wait a minute. Roll up pin. Cover to Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, you're winner of this matchup and still U.S. Junior Heavyweight Champion, Dan Matthews. <laughs> Dustin Starr coming to the announce table. Yeah, Not did, very actually. happy about this matchup here. Dan Matthews retaining the U.S. Junior Heavyweight title. Your fault. You remember what I told you? I had nothing you to too, do you with little it. Geek. Nobody calls me little. I'll tell you what, while Dustin Starr works out his anger issues, we're going to take it to a break and we'll be back after this. <laughs> 